What's up everybody, this is Steve Stralacci and today we're going to build a preset from scratch on the Neural Quad Cortex. I've had this for a few months now and I've got a little bit of a workflow kind of figured out and I wanted to walk you guys through my process, what I do, and why I do it. It's really easy to dial this thing in. A lot of the amps sound great once you pull them up, which is a definite perk of the Quad Cortex. I really like that about it. And the captures are phenomenal. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. I have a camera on my QC right about here. And I'm obviously using that because currently we don't have a desktop editor, which is very frustrating as someone who wants to edit on a desktop all the time. So drop a comment if you cannot wait for the desktop editor, if you are a QC user. So let's get right into the build. I'm gonna be using my Audio-Technica M50 headphones and I am going USB direct right in. So we have our empty YouTube build here. The first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm in stop mode and I'm going to explain that in a second. First up, let's pull up our amp. Since they just added it in an update, let's go with the Captain 50. and a cream back cabinet. That's just some things I like. I actually haven't plugged into this combo before, but let's see what it sounds like. So really nice, clean platform right away. Let's go into this amp, let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm actually going to turn that low-end boost off. I like it better without, especially with the humbuckers. By the way, what you're looking at here, this is my Epiphone slash Victoria Gold Top. And this was just sent to me by Epiphone to do a demo of, and I'm putting it through its paces, throw it right into the fire with this video. Let's try to get this to a little bit of an edge of breakup sound. <laughs> Might be still a little too much low end. Let's get some of that out. Scoop out a little bit of mids too. Great, I think that's a good starting point. So now, the most frustrating thing about building presets on the QC, you see how this is assigned to foot switch A? I cannot stand that this automatically assigns things. So I'm gonna hit that X, get rid of that assignment. Same thing with the cabinet. I'm just gonna leave the cabinet stock because they usually sound pretty good with this setup, the uh, 160 ribbon and the 57. So now I have these not assigned. And let's build from the front. First thing I wanna put in is this new exotic Z boost that we just got in the last update. Um, I use a RC boost on my real pedal board, so this is something I'm very familiar with and it does a similar thing. <laughs> So it's a pretty clean, transparent boost, just gives you a nice little oomph. Um, next thing I wanna do is put in this BEOD. This is my favorite pedal. And for, in my opinion, you don't even need a dirty amp uh, when it comes to this pedal because it sounds so great as it is. 
I just know I'm gonna lower that gain and dial back some of the bass before we even get started. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I'm gonna up this tight switch, bring in some presence and dial out some of that treble. And that's a nice heavier sound and I have that in the form of a pedal. Um, I'm gonna keep that pedal assignment at B where it automatically was assigned. So again, now I just have my two drive pedals and uh, amp locks. You guys are seeing how I'm kind of navigating around here. Now I'm gonna take this path and I'm gonna send this down to row three. And now you see it says previous row here. I need to now set this to be my multiple out. So now row three is connecting to here. And now I'm gonna start adding my post amp effects. The reason that I do it this way, I like to have a separate DSP for each of these. So the top row is kind of my amp, my meat and my potatoes, if you wanna call it that. My drive pedals, my amps, I'll throw my EQs and uh, some you know, fine tuning compression on there. We'll get to that in a little bit. And then this bottom row I'm gonna use for modulation, delay and reverb. So let's scroll right to the reverb. Let's throw this mind hall because this is another new one that we got in the update. Typically this decay is mixed way too much, so I'm just gonna. And I'm gonna bring this low pass down a little bit more. Keep the pre-delay around there. A little less decay, a little less mix. And I'm gonna dampen it a little bit more. See what we got. X out of that random pedal assignment that I don't want to have. And I'm going to not have this assigned for right now. Still getting a fair amount of low end. I'm gonna even take some more of that out. And I'm actually gonna take an EQ now. I'm going to pick the parametric so I have the most available options. And I'm going to make this into a high pass filter right there. I'm gonna take this to about eh, 130, I guess, if that's my only option here. So you can hear that's kind of clearing up some of the muddiness. Like that and I'm also going to go now to the extreme with this side and make this a low pass and we'll put this about five seven <laughs> Now I'm going to unassign this, of course. So, so far we have just built an amp and a um, couple of pedals and that EQ is really helping shape it. You can hear what a difference it makes when uh, it's too muddy. It really brings these humbuckers a little bit more to life. It gets out some of that muddy low end. So now let's add some toys. Everybody loves toys. Let's throw some mod here. 
Um, I do like the vintage chorus. Let's hear what that sounds like stock pulled up. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me as is. I don't think it really needs anything, so I'm gonna completely leave that alone. Now for fun, let's also add a tremolo. Another gripe that I have with this is that this tremolo is not yet uh, compatible with tap tempo. I would like to see that in a future update that you can tap tempo your tremolo because not everybody can convert this into BPM. Increasing the width, so if you're listening in stereo, you're kind of going to hear that bouncing back and forth. So I just unassigned those and now I'm going to reassign them to E and F respectively. Just tap assign to switch. Boom. There we go. Okay. Now we're all bypassable. I also think that this uh, mind hauls a little bit too much for my clean and rhythm sound. So I'm actually going to assign this to H so I could turn that off and I'm going to make a room reverb. For my rhythm sound. So this will just give me give me a little bit of space here. Get all the high end out. Quick decay. So you just get a little bit of a feel. And this is a nice little clean edge of rhythm, edge of rhythm breakup, edge of breakup rhythm sound. So now that we've got kind of a little bit of a basic rig, we've got clean, we've got crunch, we've got heavy, and we've got some effects. Let's just quickly throw these into a couple of scenes, just doing a couple. So I'm going to tap this button here until I get to scene mode. And now my default scene is going to be this one in this preset. So that's E. And we're going to name this clean. It's that easy. You just tap the button and it's right there. And that's this. Go to scene F, close this out, and we're going to make this a crunch. We're going to bypass the uh, exotic boost. And now since we're in our scene mode, we can alter these settings. So I can add a touch more gain here. And now you see it turns into those four squares. That means you're in scene mode and that those changes will only apply to this scene. As you can see, when I switch from E to F, it's only on the F uh, scene. I like that as a crunch sound. Let's now go to scene G. And let's make this our heavy one. So now I'm going to bypass this Freeman BOD. And we lost a little bit of volume here. too bright. I'll bring back some of that low end now.
nice and mean for my heavy sound. So before we go any further, I'd like to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. My favorite thing about Skillshare is that it's not limited to one, you know, vessel of creativity. There's literally classes on anything you can think of. Think short and sweet and straight to the point. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there's never going to be any type of ads or anything on any of the videos, and they're always launching new premium classes, so your creativity is constantly going to be pushed, and there's always going to be a new thing to learn. Currently, I'm working my way through YouTube Success Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD, a class by Marquez Brownlee, who is a YouTuber. I identify as a self-taught filmmaker. I didn't go to film school. And my favorite part about this class is that you didn't go to school to learn this. He learned, you know, trial by fire and trial through experience, which is exactly how I approach my videos and my guitar playing. So for my viewers, the first thousand people that click on the link below in the description, you're going to get a free trial for the premium membership. Right now they're offering an entire month with this video. So if you're one of the first thousand people to click that link, you will get a free entire month of Skillshare. Let's get back to the video. And now let's make a full on lead sound where I'm going to I'm gonna have the BEOD on. I'm gonna increase this gain a little bit, drop some treble, drop some presence, keep it nice and tight. And I'm also gonna to go to my EQ section and I'm going to add this. I'm gonna sharpen this Q up. This is gonna be my solo boost now, just in this scene. So this scene is gonna activate this settings in this EQ. I'm gonna boost my output by two and a half dB for now. Um, we got a sharp Q there. And let's bump this up about 3 dB in the 2K area. And here it is without the EQ. And with the EQ. Um, pretty drastic difference. This might not sound great on its own here, but when you're playing this in a band context, that's going to poke you right through the mix and you're going to really be out in front and hear yourself. So that'll be our full on lead scene. And now just like that, we have a list of four scenes. Now, what I would like to do is be able to uh, put my four stomp box options up here so I can switch the reverbs and I can put on the delays and stuff. So now on the lead preset of the lead scene, I also want to add a little bit of delay. Let's go to simple delay. Hear what that sounds like stock with our lead settings. Actually, I like the delay sound, and now I'm going to switch back to that mind hall for my lead sound. So now I don't mind that decay and that uh, that mix from before. <laughs> And that will give me a nice heavy rock lead sound. Now what I would like to see in a future update is a hybrid mode where I can make A, B, C, and D different things where I could turn the delays on and off, change a couple settings, and bypass those pedals. For now, right now you're in scene mode. Well, let's label this actually while we're here. Call this rock solo. Call this heavy. And call this crunch.
So now you see my layout right across the bottom, clean. This is all seamless uh, transitions now. Now I gotta make sure I turn my delay off since I added that. It's gonna, since you add something, it's gonna unfortunately apply to all of the scenes. So now I have to go back in, bypass those. I hope that changes in an update too. That's a little frustrating. Okay, so now let's um, quickly talk about now if I'm in this gig view and I just wanna switch over to pedal board mode. I'm just gonna tap this and now all of my pedals are laid out. So if I wanna switch to my mind hall, I wanna hit the delay on switch my reverbs, I could do all that right here. And my chorus, my tremolo are all right there. And that's just from a simple double tap of these. And now you're back at your scene menu. All right, so that is my workflow, how I build presets using the Quad Cortex. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I'll be uploading this to the cloud. I will save this as YouTube build. You could find my username, Stalach. And hope you guys follow me on there. If you want this preset, check it out, see what it sounds like. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.